Hey guys. My kiddo is currently napping, so that is the perfect time for me to do my second video in my infinitely long, like who knows how long, series of cleaning my house. So when I talked to you guys last time, you got to see my house. We walked through. I really didn't actually show all my rooms. I tried to. There's like a laundry room, two bathrooms, this whole downstairs area I actually didn't even get into. I promise I will show those rooms. They're just as bad as everything else. I think that, you know, today I'm just going to try to make a little bit of progress. This is going to be my first attempt at tackling kind of like a zone. Zone number one is going to be my closet. For this one, I'm going to be using a little bit of the kind of KonMari way of thinking. I don't even know how you say her name. That is like Maria Kondo. I just say KonMari. The idea is looking at every single item, and I'm completely paraphrasing. For the love of God, go do your own research. But my take on it is you take every item in your house. You'd start with, say, your closet, and you pull out every single item, and you just throw them on your bed or on your couch or wherever. You pick them up one by one and you look at them and you say, does this bring me joy? And if it doesn't bring you joy, if you don't feel some kind of spark or feeling of happiness, then you get rid of it. Throw it away or you put it in a donate pile. You don't look back. If you're not sure, if you don't know, then it's not joy. You know joy. Joy feels good. Joy's like, woohoo! <laughs> like, yes, it feels good. Or, you know, it's like, oh, whatever it is. Something that is definitely innately good. So, if you don't feel that, then say, hey, blouse or shoes or whatever. Thank you. I rocked this dinner party and I felt really good when I wore it. You know, thanks thanks for doing your part and I'm I'm done. Bye-bye. So that's that's kind of how it works. So uh I'm just gonna dump out whatever's in there and let's see what I find. Here we go. This is cute. It's like a little piece that hangs on the wall. Deer antler. That's awesome. An iPad Bunch of hats. Oh, a picture frame. Um, I don't need that. Okay. Great. I've got our pens, electronics, deck of cards, and then just, you know, bathroom stuff. I don't know if this has been in a baby butt, so we're just gonna throw this away. So here's a purse that's sitting in there. Uh, it's gross. Ew. Okay, cool. That's where that stuff is my camera. And the last thing I'm going to do is pull all those clothes out and I'm going to go through them one by one. I get really excited about this part because this is the part where I feel like I like actually make progress. Oh, oh sorry, Bobby. <laughs> it's okay. I actually have a lot of clothes, so I'll, I'll kind of keep piling it up. Basically what I'm going to do is kind of show you guys how I um, approach the KonMari method, how I feel my way through what I keep and what I don't keep. I did this already and I throw away a ton of stuff and I'm excited to throw away some more. So, or you know, donate some more. So basically you take it, pull it off the hanger, just kind of, you know, hold the material, like feel it, smell it, you know, whatever it is that, that you're gonna do. I know this brings me joy. I feel good with it. I feel good in it. I know that this is a keeper. But again, if you're not sure sometimes, or maybe if something does bring you a little bit of joy, you could say like you feel good about it, but you're still just like, but how good do I feel? Put it on, you know? But don't get nostalgic. Only keep it if you really like it. So, <sighs> You can hear my kid yelling in the background, can't you? She's having like way too much fun with her dad. <laughs> anyway, this is a shirt. It's just like, it's so nice and stretchy and soft and it actually brings me really good feelings. And so I think that's why this is a good example. Rather than doing KonMari's like, does this bring me joy? Am I happy? It's really, it's just like, do you love it? Or is it just fine? I don't necessarily feel professional. I don't feel sexy. It's just fine. Because who wants a closet of just fine things? Like what does fine mean? How are you doing today? Fine. How was the date? It was fine. Oh, okay. So this is gonna go in my, my no pile, I'm, I'm done. And this is what I meant by saying your parting words to things and then letting them go. Thank you, I loved this for so many years. It's, you know, it's done its job, it's lasted a long time, bye-bye. Okay, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me go through all this, so let's just fast forward to when I'm done. Hello, it is now 9.19 p.m. My closet took a lot longer than I expected. The light buzzes, so that's pretty annoying, but it is completely organized. I'll just give it a try. Okay. 
my husband's items. Um, ties get their own piece. Belts get their own. Uh, big belts get their own. I got this um, on Amazon and I will link to it in my description. It is just awesome. It can be used for belts, it can be used for scarves, it can be used for shirts. Like, I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. It's super sturdy. I love it. Oh, here we go. This is another organizer that I got from Amazon. Let me um, come over so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so it's one metal hook and it can hold a ton. Got one of those, highly recommend it. And then I just organized my shirts. Is my pajamas. This, which is crazy, I couldn't believe it. I actually ended up through getting rid of stuff. I've got like a ton of free space here. Leggings, t-shirts that I didn't feel like hanging, more of just like comfy shirts. Um, and again, just kind of sweaters that I didn't want to hang up um, that just do better kind of in here. Anyway, had a great night, tackled my closet. What I ended up um, getting rid of is actually quite a bit of stuff. It's a pretty good amount of clothes considering I just got rid of over a hundred um, not too long ago. Like 22 items here. I do not feel joy. This is like a very, like pretty full bag of um, my daughter's stuff. Anyway, I don't even know how there's a ton of stuff in there. That's gonna go to the resale shop. A pile of sheets that we don't use. We, like, we don't use these. What ends up happening is they get washed, they somehow go in the closet, they get pulled down, they get dirty again, we wash them again. It's like an endless cycle of just sheets. Uh, this is like curtains. We will put these in a spot where we can come back to them um, as I get to the rest of the house. Here's kind of the interesting part. Stuff I found in the closet that I'm just like, what? Like, God knows how he got in there. Really don't know what this is for. 20 cents. And I found a bunch of junk. And a bib. So yeah, that was my closet. Got one thing down, like breaking the ice. I'm excited to move on to the next. If there's anything that you want to say, um, you know, if you have any questions, or really anything at all, you can leave a comment. Definitely subscribe, you know, if you want to keep watching videos and you want to see me do more. Thanks for watching my video, and uh, we'll hopefully see you next time.